Come on. Work this time. I've spent two hours down here already. I'm not wasting another just to restart all this. Yes, that's it. Finally, you're working. Should I say, waking up? Systems restored. <laughs> Don't bother getting up. Not only are you strapped nice and tight by magnets, but your legs aren't in the best condition. Census claim location is unknown. You're deep underground. Underneath the now former tortured tower, to be precise, where no one can hear us. Good thing too. Those unit lot and some of the other divisions are still searching about for artifacts. <laughs> Luckily, I found you first. Identify yourself. Like I tell you that. For now, just call me Dr. Ego. You identify as Dr. Ego. Mm, an unfortunate nickname my colleagues gave me. You see, I worked for Tortured before the battle in the cybernetics and robotics department, and uh, you're proof that I am a genius in that field. Tortured. The battle. Ooh, uh, I, I don't think you want to know how that turned out. Where the Cybermen victorious? Let's just say you were the only one I could find who was accessible to my project. Why? Why defeated? Well, on the plus side, so did the Daleks. The Daleks were victorious? Who was? I'm gonna go with humans. But the whole day was a mess. Everyone running about, screaming, dying. Or worse, being converted. I was one of the lucky ones. Locked myself down here once you lot showed up. How did you like Kaylee? With great difficulty. You were, or at least your top half was, underneath some rubble. It might explain why you didn't fly up like the others. Cybermen are not capable of flight. They weren't flying. It was like they all got sucked into the top of the building. Not sure how or why, all I know is they were all gone, along with the Daleks. You know, this must be hard to take in. I feel... I feel... sadness. Well, that's that's a natural feeling. Finding out you're the last of your kind is going to do that. This is not compatible. Some men don't feel sadness. We don't feel any emotions. I suppose not without that inhibitor I found in your chest. You removed my inhibitor? Only certain parts. You still have the mindset of Cyberman, but with a more unorthodox aspect to it. I mean, if I theorise correctly, you should start remembering your past life. My past life? Yes. I remember. <laughs> no quicker than I thought. What do you remember? My place of origin. And not my name. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure it will come eventually. But tell me, where did you come from? London. Not this London. Care to elaborate on that? Me and the other Cybermen found a tear in the walls between reality. That is how we came through over to yours. So, the rumours were true. The ghosts were from another universe. So how did you become all metallic? I was doing an internship for Cybers Industries, working under John Lumick himself. I wasn't in London at the time of the first mass conversion. My conversion happened a year later, before the preachers sealed me and the rest of my kind in one of the cyber factories to be forgotten. The you lot decided to jump ship and start again in this world. That is correct. And we both know what happened next. All the ghosts turned into you, and you got your asses handed to you by a more superior race. Daleks are not superior. Yeah, I was talking about humans. So about your upgrade, was it forced, or did you, dare I say it, want it to be like this? Before my upgrade, I had ambitions to change the very nature of humanity, but then it was too deep in these delusions. I instead was given no errands to work on. I saw it as a waste of my talents. That's something I can relate to. You always try to prove yourself, but those in charge always shun you away. But please, carry on with your story. I was in Cardiff when I learned what happened in London, and the remaining Cybermen strategised on the next move, and secret projects for our future. 
That was when I volunteered myself for a special mission, which is still missing from my memory cells. So you did choose to do this to yourself? My emotions were a weakness. If I didn't have fear, I would have achieved so much more. You would have done the same. <laughs> well, probably not to the extent you did. I suppose you want to know why I woke you up. That information is required. As I said, I was down in this bunker of my home design during the battle. I watched it on all these monitors. And I couldn't help but admire the power the Cybermen possessed. I knew of all the previous invasions in the past. The one in the 60s, sightings near Windsor Castle in the 80s, and records of a giant one in the 1800s. But none of your technology was in good condition to experiment on. Well, and until now, of course. What purpose do you have of me? Seems only fair. You tell me your story, I'll tell you mine. I wasn't very popular in this workplace. Torture is meant to reuse alien technology to restore the British Empire. But whenever I pitched in a use, I just get called an emotional egomaniac. Hence the nickname. Yeah, thanks a lot, everyone. I can remove that floor. Mm, an interesting offer, but I prefer my brain where it is, thanks. But enough talk. Now is the time for action. With Director Hartman gone, I am now appointing myself as both Head of the Science Department and new Director of Tortured One. With your cyber tech, I will rebuild this facility and restore Britain to its former glory. And then I will finally get the respect I deserve. So what do you say? Are you ready to rebuild your race? What's going on? They haven't found me, have they? I was so careful, nothing could have gone through the transmat from the outside. Then it must have been from the inside. What have you done? Remembered my true purpose. When I got converted, I was assigned a special task to ensure the cyber race's survival. All the knowledge has been preserved. Now I intend to complete that task. But... How did you hack into my computer? You used the tortured network to awaken me by uploading my brain fat waves into the main network, and I reversed the engineer to go back to its original source. I now have complete control over what's left of this facility. But you would have needed the access code to enter it, and I've only recently changed it. I'm the only one who knows that password. The same password you use for all devices. How did you know that? I remember my name. The identity I once had. Jerome. Jerome? Well, that's my name. You can't be. Gravy's visual appearance confirms we are the same being, but from different universes. Logically, you would have made the same choices, and now that I have control. Your straps. Be grateful, Doctor. You not only awoken me, but your services will be rewarded to further the Cyberman's survival. I'm not going to help you, not if I'm not the one in charge. Besides, your suit's still too damaged to function. Which is a service you will provide. What's happening? How are you controlling these wires? We share the same brain, the same organs, the same blood. The cyber suit identifies you as a suitable replacement. You emerge as a single entity. Cybermen always upgrade for any means necessary. No. No. Don't. Cybermen. I will not fail the final mission. The legacy will continue.